What's up everyone, Seth Miranda. I'm here at IBC 2018 in Amsterdam, Netherlands. We're gonna go walk the floor to some people we know, shake some hands, kiss some babies, and check out some new products. What's going on? I'm here with the infamous Jeremy Young from a little company called Atomus who filled a big hole in this industry, right? Yep. Been uh, working hard on it. We've got some new things for you as well. The Ninja V right there in your hand. We've been shipping, waiting for this. Shipping, shipping, shipping. New right, interface, so right? New interface. So um, we've actually got a few original designers from the Final Cut 7 and Final Cut 10 team that have joined ours that are now our user experience and UI. And I used to do a lot of the UI myself. I know the customers know yeah. that. And I always wanted it to be really prominent what the function was because I'm coming at it from the product side, right? Yeah, but now you're celebrating the screen. Celebrating the image. Image. How did we miss that? Yeah, How a little bit. How did we miss that, A little right? bit. So <laughs> everything's kind of reduced back. It's really easy to get rid of all the overlays. This is in playback mode. And we give you all of the tools that you need, like waveform, time, time code. code, audio, battery status, all down the bottom so that the image can breathe above the top. And then if you want to bring in record mode, when you want to bring things up, you just tap the screen and more info comes up. And when you want to get into something, for example, if I tap on monitor, now all of my monitor functions, we don't take up any oh, of the screen perfect. area, right? So then you can go in and change your LUTs. You can you can still see what you're recording while you're seeing what you're doing in a small package. How does it get better than that? Right. And then you can change things like native to HLG to PQ, so then you can expose correctly Perfect. for that. So really simple to, to navigate and one touch and you're away. Yeah, if you got some other stuff. We do, we do. So as a part of the Ninja 5 system, there's, there's a range of accessories that we call the Atom X range. And the Atom X range is improving the form factor or the size or the functionality. And it's extending modules to different parts of the industry. So, for example, everyone's heard of NDI. Right. It's video over Ethernet. Right? Right. There's a bunch of standards evolving, SMPTE 2110 and different things. So we looked at it and went, you know what? We could easily integrate into those existing um, workflows right. where people are using Ethernet instead of SDI. And it's one gig E, so it's in the schools, it's in the churches, it's in, it's it's, in everywhere, yeah, right? Yeah, standard out. So, and it takes broadcast signals. So what it is, is the same stuff we do, video, encoding, right. right, metadata. But then on top of that, there's the IT infrastructure to move it around networks. And that means a cheap, affordable switching, etc. So this is called the Atomex Ethernet NDI accessory. Right. It clicks onto the back of the unit, into the battery slot, because we've got a port that's a... PCI Express Gen 3, so it's really fast data basically, right? In and out. So we can take video in and out, audio in and out. We can add the connections that would make a Ninja bulky. But you can just add on to that. Correct. Yeah. So the first one is NDI, and the next one is a, which we announced here and we'll be shipping by the end of the year. So these are just under 200 bucks. The NDI one's 195. The, this easy one is, add -on. is 149. It's an easy add-on. If you don't need it, don't buy it. It's that if simple. you're never NDI... Keep it small if you want to keep, keep it, small. it small. If you need the extra ability, exactly. you can just add it on. Because Real we're cheap. always in this game of, oh, we want to put that on, but oh, it got bigger. Yeah. So then, you know, people aren't going to like it's it. It's customizable. It's customizable. So we envisage a couple of screens, a couple of cameras, a bunch of modules. If you need X, Y, Z, you just put it on. Right. Fine. So this one is our synchronization module, which is Bluetooth and wireless gen lock and time code. Oh, that's amazing. So what it does is frame sync, no matter what the cameras are doing, one signal to all your recordings, right. all that metadata, you can push information. Everything's on the same page, you're just going forward, slave. better workflow. And what we've done is partnered with other people's technology, yeah. added ours on top, so this is Timecode Systems, who have been very good at, at wireless timecode for a long time. They've got some great tech. So we're licensing their technology into this. Yeah. And we've added our continuous power. And they've got Bluetooth control. So perfect partnership, right? You, you guys partnership like crazy. Yeah. You, got, you got ProRes RAW coming. Yep, yep. So. And NDI, right, is new tech. So New Tech's a switching company. So we're teaming up together to give customers a better solution. So their customers get to experience our products. Whole systems. Our customers get to experience their product. And we build the ecosystem together, but it's controlled. Right, right, it's right. It's not right. just scattergun to anyone, like a Windows approach. Right. And Windows has great things, like a lot of developers working on it, but it also blue screens a lot, because <laughs> the quality is not there, right? And, and you're always updating. It always gets worse. You just slide it in there, let me tell you, man. <laughs> just slide it in there. But the reason you control ecosystems and you don't just scattergun to everybody is because of the quality 
right. for, of the solution at the end. That's what Apple know, that's what we know, and that's what we're very committed to is... The, when control, we, the control keeps a standard, a quality you can trust, reliability, it's always there for you. if there's a problem, there's someone to call. Boom, you're done. Like, it's not like into a black hole, it's like calling your telephone provider or something and you wait on hold there for, forever <laughs> and you're trying to get your solution. You don't want that. No, no, That's no. That's what happens when mass market, right? But we're pros. We're making products for businesses. We care that it's affordable to them, that they can reuse it, that it's right. reliable, and that it does what it says. Well, most people box. are themselves are the business, right? That's so it's right. your name, your reputation, everything. You're putting trust in your gear. Absolutely. It's got to be there for you, right? Absolutely. So that's the big announcements for us. So we're, we've got a ProRes Raw editors workflow demonstration here where people are showing how they've actually used it over the last six months. That's great. Using yeah. Shogun and Sumo. Well, we just had you on Adorama TV a couple months ago showing a live stream of how to use and what is ProRes Raw. Yep. So you guys can check that out. Jeremy, always a pleasure. You're exhausting, Jeez, by the way. You're exhausting. All good. All good. Take care. Thanks. So I'm here with Andrew from a company I've been hearing a lot about, DD Microphones. You just released something huge. Yeah, I mean, this thing, I actually haven't slept in 20 hours. <laughs> well, uh, wait, wait a second. You guys, how long have you been around so far? April. April. April, okay. And you guys just came out with a dual, a dual receiver wireless lav. Yeah, this actually was a drawing on an In-N-Out napkin at Cinegear. <laughs> In-N-Out, you're so LA. At, at you're so LA. <laughs> I stole some napkins, I was doodling at Cinegear, and today it's it's a thing. Yeah, so uh, the Duo RX, tell me about it. What What's so special? So here's what we're gonna start with. Uh, from the transmitter, it's 100 milliwatts, 50 milliwatts, 25, 10, and we have an auto RF feature, so that if the receiver's not receiving enough signal, it can ping back to the transmitter, hey, can you boost it up a little bit? And all of a sudden now, you you kind of reduce your chances of getting an RF hit. But if we, if, so if I lab somebody up, I never have to go back to this unit because I can control everything from here. Right, so it does bi-directional communication, and from the menu system, you can go in and change literally the gain, limiter, uh, low cut, we even have a high frequency boost in the transmitter pack. Sick. So if you put the lavalier under some clothes, and it starts to sound a lot like Yeah, you this, take care of the muffle. Right? You can actually add some low cut, give it some high boost, and level that lob back off before it's even transmitted. That way, before it's encoded, anything, it's still in the analog form, it sounds good. Never just, you never disturb set. Once you're, they're up and going, you're in your own world doing the control, right? right? And we're cool. all doing that from this guy here. Perfect. For both lavaliers. Yeah, that's a, that's dual input, so that's dual amazing. Input, the output is a balanced 3.5 <laughs> millimeter. It's, it's a crazy show. It is a huge show right now. It's a huge show. 3.5 millimeter balanced outputs, so it's like a true XLR, but just in a mini jack. Yeah, connected. that's huge, huge. USB-C charging. USB-C quick charge, one hour charge time, runs for 10 hours at full power. So if you reduce the power, you actually get a full day to run. And the, so, all right, so, so. We've also got some other things here. Yeah, yeah, this, this you had from NAB, right? Yeah, this we had at NAB, we have this at Sending Gear, except for this, this is new. Uh, our V-Loves, our V-Mics, <laughs> You're, you're, you're dying I on know. me, I know. I know. They just released that, so they've been busy all night answering everybody's questions about it. So the V-Mics have had the microprocessors built in that adapt the uh, pinout connection of the cable to any kind of 3.5 millimeter device you plug in. We said, cool, microphones, that's awesome, let's do a lavalier. So we launched this, which is called the v -Log, and at the end of the v -Log is the microprocessor, two little coin batteries that you'd find in a watch, and TRS cable, it can be any kind of 3.5 millimeter jack you need it to be. Yeah, I mean, I went through a lot of uh, heartache getting a lab to work with phones because you guys see me live on Adderall's Instagram every week. You just solved it, huh? Yeah. So, <laughs> like, yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, as soon as you take the phone out, you plug it in. Boom, it's awake. It totally turns on. As soon as you plug it into a device that has a stereo microphone input, like a DSLR, it puts it on pins one and two. Same thing with our V mics. Beautiful. I mean, it really is the kind of stuff that we, we hate adapters. I just want it to work as soon as I plug it up. Yeah, you thought of everything that's been a constant problem forever and basically approached a solution, not just make another product. Yeah. So, and one thing I wanted to point out was it's a, it's a mic that can be both on and off, right? Yeah. Comes completely out, weighs five ounces, and it has a 20 dB stepless analog gain knob at the back. So if you're a DSLR user, you're used to going to menus and diving deep just to change audio settings. There you go, zero, plus 20, and everything in the middle. Stepless analog quiet gain. Own one mic and get it all done. Right, you put that on a boom pole, you add the XLR adapter, you're there. Cool, man. 
Yo, thanks so much for your time. I see this line of people want to talk to you about all this stuff, so Thank you you're so one to watch, time. man. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. What's going on? I'm at Bar Cannon over here with Paul Atkinson, and we're talking about the XF705. Yep. Let's go down this. There's a whole lot of specs going on. 10-bit internal. Yeah, 422 10-bit internal um, using H.265 HEVC as Second. a codec. Um, I think this is going to be the way forward because we're able to record that codec onto SD cards. Right. Yeah, they're going to be the, the high-speed ones. But, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's still SD cards. It's a relatively cheap recording media. Yep. Uh, we can do that in 4K UHD or Full HD in that codec. Oh. We can revert back to XF, ABC, and 4 to 8 bit. We can output through 12G SDI, so single cable only, or right. HDMI in 422 10-bit as well. Which is awesome. Yeah, and we can do IP streaming at 60 megs per second. That's insane. In uh, Full HD or 4K. And again, we can add HDR to this straight away. We do both flavors of HDR internally. So PQ and, <coughs> excuse me, uh, HLG. OK. Um, <clears throat> the way that this works, really, if you know our other cameras, we have that wide dynamic range setting. Right. You get the dynamic range, you don't need to grade. Okay, great. On this, we well. do exactly the same thing. <laughs> you can record internally, HDR, EQ, or HDR. That's a big deal, you internal know, everything. For the traditionalists and the guys who want their full control, the first time in a non-cinema camera, Canalog 3. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Canalog 3. Internal. I like how it just goes, speeds right through the, the really good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, this is really a worthy successor to the uh, XF305. Yes. Um, unlike other models where we have the 300 and 305, we're only doing the 05. Okay. So this will come automatically with 12G SDI to get 4K through a single cable. Okay. Uh, without having to have the four cables we do with the other cameras. We've also included the dual pixel AF. Of course, how could of you course, not? Some of the best yeah. autofocus in the game right there. With uh, touchscreen control. Beautiful. Again, and the... Um, the ability to use the focus assist system as well for the manual focus. Okay. Guys. So that's all in there as well. Four channel audio. Okay. Uh, we've thought about the layouts of this. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty sleek, I gotta it tell you. Sleek. It's a little bit smaller than the 305. Yeah, it's looking uh, a little more handheldy. Yeah, and again, all the connections here. Remember back to the 305, we just had big connections down the back. Now we have individual ones. Beautiful. So Tom, we're not cool. just exposing everything. Uh, should you can just get to what you need, keep everything exactly. else protected. Exactly. Yeah, it's a well thought out machine right here. Waveform monitor in viewfinder or on screen. Okay. The screen's bi-directional. You can go out this either side if you want. Uh, you'll notice as well that the XLR connections, one at the front, one at the back. Uh, there's a connection here for a third party radio mic bracket with connection straight into the XLR here. All right. Helps balance it out a bit as well. Yeah, it's a, it lets it become your camera, however you yeah, need to build it out. But it seems pretty much everything on board that you're going to need to just yeah, ready, I mean, get it, go. For run and gun guys, news gathering, everything the XF305 has been used for for the last eight years so successfully, this is the next generation to do that. Even if you're not outputting in 4K, you're still collecting 4K for HD output. So you're automatically increasing your image quality, which at the end of the day is everything. Is every, yeah, it's everything. Every consideration yeah. you need. So versatility, everything in camera, you're ready to yeah, run and go, get it, absolutely. and get it out there. But with that option there to go and do the traditional workflow, should you wish. Okay, so being that this XF705 has just dropped a few days ago, not many people have used it, but Sebastian DeVoe has, your credit filmmaker. What, tell, tell me, tell me, what did you do with it? What did you like about it? I'm very happy. You're very happy? I'm very happy because I worked in the past with the 305. Okay. And uh, now it's now eight years old. Yeah, it is. It's it's time for an upgrade. Yes, and we have seen in the past four or five, two or five, but this is a real replacement of the 305 because there is all the features we need for this kind of big uh, and camera uh, camcorder. And uh, I'm fan of uh, the quality of 4K lenses. Yes, and yeah. This is this glass this is makes gorgeous. A difference, completely different. And the good idea. Is I love to work, work in 4K. But okay. Now, thanks to the HEVC, it could be like uh, the, the the spirit is like I, 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 sh I, sh I shoot in uh, full HD. Yeah, same, yeah. Same. Right, right, yeah. Thanks to the main storage, SD cards, so it's very easy. The codec is very easy yeah. to work with and keeps the storage and everything. So you work in higher resolutions but more manageable files. Exactly. Yeah, 100%. This is perfect. 
and the sound is completely respect. Okay. So you have to watch the, uh, uh, Build it out how you want. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. What kind of work do you normally do? What do you look to shoot? I love all the things uh, like commercials, TV show, okay. uh, some movies, quick movies. But for this, I use this for TV show. Like okay. Several uh, three or five. So thanks also to uh, all the outputs. Yeah, all the outputs. You only I think you, you can you can use like uh, how many uh, like eight or ten in the same time. Right. I can switch. So it's exactly what I need for this kind of production. You make it your camera when you need it. Got it. So it's a good run. It's everything in there. Grab it, go, get it done, right? Also, thanks. It's, it's used the same uh, batteries. Oh, the batteries, yeah. right? You probably have a ton of them already, right? Exactly. Yeah, I got you. If you're in the system, they took care of you going forward. I love to to use the EOS system, right? Like C200, C300. It's the same. Same battery. You're, yeah, same you're battery. already you're covered all across. You don't have to worry about different adapters, different chargers. Click, click, click. Go, go, go. It's all about getting the film done. Yes. It's something very easy to use, and it's the reason I work with Canon Tools since the release of 5D Mark II. Okay. Because I, I love to, the, the easy to, to use spirit. Right. This cool. Is. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing what else you do with this, by the way. Okay. And uh, enjoy the rest of the show, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm from Brooklyn, come on. Brooklyn? I'm from oh, Brooklyn. I'll give him a full Welsh uh, Oh, you back. want to do this? Yeah, you want to do yeah, this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just pretend they play in England. <laughs> <laughs>